So I had another neighbor reach out to me and I went by her house and she gave me a bunch of books. A lot of them are more history based, which is, or fishing, <laughs> but it's not really my forte, which is really good because then I can post all of them and not really feel too bad because I like to read all the books that I get donated to me. Um, but I'm pretty excited because there's a bunch of books in here that I get to add to the shop now. This one's hard for me because there's no makeup going on. I got hair messy craziness, but this is part of my journey, right? I don't want to spend the time today, or I couldn't really spend the time today getting ready and dressed up and all that. So I've got like yoga pants on from my walk this morning. Didn't get to shower. My husband did an overnight. And so I just really had to keep the baby occupied, which actually I have to get off of that. Um, so I just didn't have the time to do me today and that is totally fine because I'm mainly sitting at home working on my computer and getting some stuff done online, which is super helpful on days like today because I wasn't really teaching classes or doing anything. I was hanging out with the baby, but as you saw, I have a bunch of book donations that I have to get in my inventory and get my bookstore straightened up and my office is kind of a mess right now too. So I'm getting rid of a bunch of stuff online that way as well. So today's kind of like a cleanup day. And I honestly think that days like these, even though they kind of seem like you're not really productive, they're actually super helpful because I get all like the little things done that I usually don't want to spend the time on because I want to get bigger, bigger things done. So, yep, this is what I am today. And this is really hard for me because I'm not usually a person that likes to go out or film myself without makeup and stuff. But I'm really, this is part of my, I'm not caring anymore. This is what I look like. This is real life. And you don't have to put on makeup every day to do your job and get things done. So this is what it is. And so you're going to see me doing a lot of inventory input today for the bookstore. And I went full-fledged and made sure my website was back up to date. I had not really, well, yeah, no. I took it down for a while. And I kind of like hushed my social media sites and didn't really do a lot with it. I was just going with the app website. But I really decided that... I want to be full fledged and make sure everything's out there so people can access it. And so everything is back up and running for sure. And this is my focus. And I really told myself, you know, I'm going to give myself time to settle in and really do this and be fully, fully consistent and making sure that my website is available for everybody. So it will be in the description this, um, this time too, making sure that everybody can access my online bookstore. I really wanna document this journey for you for other people who wanna do the same thing as me because I'm such a passionate person for reading and writing and I'm working on my own book, I'm almost done and I'm so excited. I really wanna publish it before the holidays come. And so it's something I'm really, really focusing on and I would love, like one of my dreams is to post my own book in my bookstore. Like that would be so fantastic and I'm so excited for that. And so I wanna document this journey for anyone else that's kind of doing the same thing as me and have that same passion and ambition. So yeah, let's get some inventory done. I'm gonna show you how I keep track or how I do inventory because I was really unsure of how to do it in the beginning and now I kind of got my groove down. Something I'm going to be like totally transparent about is because I'm so new right now in the beginning and I've been doing a lot of research and taking a lot of people's advice. Um, someone recommended maybe like cross posting and what cross posting means is that you're posting on more than one site in order to try to get the sale. And so because my bookstore is so new and of course I want to focus on that marketing, I do also have two other sites that I'm using for book sales until I can really build up my business until everybody knows who I am and they come right to me to get the books. And so I will tell you all my techniques and strategies in order to be able to take people who are buying from other sites and actually bring them right to my site without, you know, totally without breaking any really of the rules that the other sites have because you don't want to hurt any other company in any kind of way. But I also want to make it so people know that I have my own store and that I want to be able to do this as like my full-time thing. Like this is my business. So let me go ahead and show you some of my inventory. Okay. So now in order to keep track of like all of this, and I still have another box out in my living room right now, you have to have some kind of system, right? Well, for me especially, because like I mentioned, I am posting to three different sites. So the first one is, well, let me get my paper. So I want to get these out of the way. Maybe I'll put them over here for now. 
So I did handwrite everything right now because I'm such a pen to paper person, but I also think that this would be a great idea to put inside a, um, like a Google Doc Excel sheet because that would be a lot easier and movable. So like I could share it with anybody on the internet if I ever get an assistant, but also if I was somewhere out, I, I could be able to check my inventory and it's on the go and it's not just like in a notebook. But when I started this idea, I threw it all in the, in the notebook and I was like, all right, I'm going to go from there. So the first thing I, let me tell you this. The first thing is I post on my website, pagesandcorners.com. That's my website that I want people to come to, to purchase books. I also use this website called, or this app, it's called Pango. And then I also use eBay. Now, eBay people know. If, if I said eBay to pretty much anyone on the street, they know what that is. They've heard of it before. Pango, not so much. I only recently learned about Pango, I don't know, maybe about a month ago, maybe a little bit more. And I'm an avid reader. Like, I love books and things like that. And I've heard of a lot of different book sites, but I've never heard of Pango. And I'm really excited that I found it because I love it so much. It's a website or an app that you could go to and actually sell your books. And they have a pretty good reputation on there. And there's a lot of people. And it's where I've been getting a lot of sales. So I cross post to all three of these websites. But this is a lot of books. And I need to be able to keep track of what website is each book on and if I sell a book I want to make sure that I am able to take it off of the other two websites so I don't double sell which actually did happen to me recently and luckily I was able to remedy remedy it without any cost to me but I don't want that to happen again and so that's when I was like you know what the inventory needs to happen I need to keep track if I want to keep cross posting until my website gets fully um monetized where people know to just come right there so I'm working on that but right now I do want to be able to get sales and get myself out there promote myself market myself and things like that so this is what I do I write down all the book titles so right now I started with just writing down all the book titles that were on my website that way I knew what was already up there and posted so not everything is posted on the internet right now I have inventory sitting here that people can't see and they don't know is available. That is not good. I want people to know what I have because then I have more chances of selling stuff. So it's really, really difficult. So these are all the titles right now that are on my website. Okay. Now I went through and said, okay, what's on Pango and what's on eBay so I can go ahead and update those two websites so that they are cross posted in all three. As you can see, I've been working down this first sheet and so my goal is to have all of these sheets have arrows or check marks across all three. As you can see back here, these ones are only on Pango and that's because I stopped using my website for a little bit because uh, let's just be honest here. It was getting frustrating that no one really knew, but I wasn't doing my job. I wasn't letting people know about it. So totally my fault taking ownership. So I went fully just on Pango and I was avoiding the other two. We are back at it. I understand that businesses take a lot of work and if you're not willing to put in the work, then you're not going to succeed. And I needed that big slap in the face to give myself. And so now I'm like, listen, girl, get yourself a system, get yourself together and let's move on. So that's what I'm doing. So this is how I'm keeping track of my inventory right now. But like I said, an Excel spreadsheet would probably be a really great idea to put this on. And if anyone wants me to do a video explaining how exactly to do that, how to set it up, I would love to be able to do that. Just drop it down, um, drop a comment down below and let me know Excel spreadsheet. And then I can go ahead and make a video that will show you exactly how to do that because I know how I just went pen to paper. So let me know in the comments and I can make that if we need to. One thing I want to mention here that I kind of forgot before about the inventory is that when it is highlighted yellow, that is means that means it is sold. And so I no longer need to worry about it because it's already come out of my inventory. So um, this helps me go ahead and highlight and make sure I take it off all three websites, which is another reason why this is super helpful. However, also another reason why the, the Google Excel sheet would also be really good because then I could keep track of like another column saying, it was sold and maybe where it was sold and that would give me a lot more data so it's something I definitely want to do but I feel like 
Maybe I will get all of this finished on paper first and then switch over to do the Excel. And then that way everything will be in. I kind of want to focus on all the inventory that I already have out there before I add anything new. Because then that will just be super overwhelming. So my goal is to get all of these pages done. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I have four pages that I'd love to update all of the inventory, make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be across all three sites. Then I can go ahead and put this on an Excel spreadsheet and then move forward by doing everything digitally because it's just gonna be easier in the long run. As much as I love writing down to paper, um, I definitely think that moving forward and doing everything on Excel is probably the way to go. But I just wanted you to see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So with that kick in the pants that I got, one of the things too I want to let you know is that when I'm on my website and I input everything, I literally have to do everything by myself. Like I have to put the description, I have to put um, what condition it's in, I have to do the research of figuring out like how much it is, all the things, right? But something that's really great about Pango over the other two websites, um, because eBay is the same thing, I have to input all of the information. Like everything is up to me to do. Pango is wonderful because you can go on there, scan the book, the ISBN number, and everything pops up and like populates for you. There's only a couple things you need to do, like say what kind of condition the book is in, because obviously your book is pre-loved and so they don't know what it's like for the condition. But like the description pops up, the ISBN is there, you have to take a picture of the book, but like pretty much everything else is like already in there. They tell you how much the book is gonna weigh so you can pick the proper shipping. It's just lovely. It's so lovely. And I wish that could cross over to all the other websites, but it can't. And so that's a lot of work. And so you have to be prepared for that. And I'm not going to lie, I was not prepared. I only started this bookstore at the very end of July. I really should just start saying August because it was like probably July 27th or something. And so I'm really needing to, I needed to give myself that kick in the pants because it's only a couple of months and I was already like, oh my God, it's so much work. Hello, being an entrepreneur is work. Can't have a business if you're not going to do the work. So slap, 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 woke myself up. You gotta do it. So I've got to work through all this stuff right now and that's what I'm gonna do so I can promote my website more. There's so many wonderful books in this pile that people can't see and they don't know I have available because I haven't put them in the computer yet. So that's what we're gonna do. I gave you a pretty good overall of how I do my inventory, how I sit down and organize my books out, how I go through my inventory list that I have now, and I sit down on my computer and really do all the nitty gritty work. So if you have any questions about any of the things I talked about today, please leave them down in the comment section below, or you can email me at michelle at pagesandcorners.com. And also, I'm going to put a printable down below as well that's going to give you an outline structure of all the things I do so it can give you an idea of how you can start. And it's kind of like a little checklist that you can go through or even just use it as a guide of something that you can start thinking about if you're thinking about setting up your own online bookstore. So definitely check out that link down below as well. And I will post my shop 
link down below too. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to keep following my journey of my online bookstore. Thank you.